going on, y'all? Welcome back to the Pushing Our Potential YouTube channel, your go-to YouTube channel for basketball breakdowns and instructions. I am your host, Pop, and today we're going to be showing the big men some love. That's right, we got Nikola Jokic scoring 35 points. I know all the big men out there, they might get discouraged. All they see is the Steph Currys and the Trey Youngs and the LeBrons and everybody's dunking and shooting three-pointers and whoop-de-whoop. You can still score 35 points as a big man in the NBA and at every level you're on. You just got to know how to do it and know where to get your points from. That being said, before we get into it, don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe on the video. Let me know who you want to see. And then let's get right to it, man. We're going to be giving out some game in this one, y'all. Giving y'all some easy, easy buckets. Let's see how the best big man in the league gets his buckets right here. First off, we got a, a screen. He didn't even use a screen, but his great point guard play. He, he attracts two defenders here, and Jokic just slides into the open space. Slides into the open space. He, he keeps himself available for this pass from the point guard. And then he keeps the ball high. Look at him. Put the ball high. Finish over the top of the defense. So first play, we got a pick and roll. He didn't use a screen, but he still rolled to the basket. He still, you know, used the open space that he had. Here we're getting out in transition. Running the floor, simple. Get out in transition and run the floor. He causes this turnover and he gets out and he's running. Look at him, full steam ahead. Way to run, way to hustle. Big man, if you run the floor, you will get rewarded. If it's not with a point, you'll get an offensive rebound. It's, it's gonna come to you. Play the game with integrity. Now, this? Don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah man this is a we got this is a play for Jokic surprisingly enough coming out of this screen he gets a double down screen right here down screen right here floppy right here he just comes out to it one dribble step back obviously he's going under this screen he's not really too concerned with the shot raise up and he just raised up and hit it this is the only three he had in this game so don't worry here we go, post up down low. Bit of a mismatch. Willie Cauley Stein on him. Let's see what he does. Ooh. It's real easy, real simple. You get this matchup right here that we like. And instead of doing anything complicated, one, two, three, four dribbles into the paint. He gets him right down where he wants to go. He's backing him up. He's getting him right to his spot, right here on that block. Don't forget, he's a right-handed player. So all we want to do is get comfortable to a, get to a spot where we're comfortable. Turn around for a right hand jump hook. That's the easiest shot as a big man that you can have. Right up, right on the block. Turn around hook shot. The hard part is getting there. You know, backing them all the way under the basket. You don't really get that a lot. Here we go once again. Running the floor, you get rewarded. Once again, running the floor full speed. He's the last player on his team back. It's little details like this that makes me happy. He's the last player. One, two, three, four, five. He's the last player on his team to get back into play. But that doesn't discourage him. He doesn't stop running. He runs hard. And he's the one that ends up getting the ball and getting an easy layup in transition. Run the floor, guys. ISO. Pull up. A couple weeks ago, we saw the same shot. Literally the same shot in the Anthony Davis breakdown. It's nothing crazy. It's just a, you get this ISO here. It's a baby jab. You see how uh, Porzingis opens up on a jab? He jabs his ball and he drops his hand and he drops his foot. Boom. He drops his hand out of the way. His hand goes down and his foot goes back on his baby jab. That's all the space that you need. Rise up and shoot that shot over the top. This is just playing a floor great. This is playing. This is this is this is great spacing right here. You see, he's over here. What I like about this play is the baseline drive, corner drift. Baseline drive, corner drift. Whenever you have a player on the strong side driving baseline, whoever's in his weak side, you have to you have to drift to the corner. It's imperative. I don't care if you're a big man, a point guard, a two, wherever you are. If you're on this side of the floor, you have to drift. Simply because you have to give this guy down here an angle to make this pass. Now, whether he's going baseline and he's going to the rim 
he can make this pass from here or if he's going this way he can swing around and make this pass on or on the on the baseline but either way you have to drift and you have to make yourself available and open and this is a textbook nba uh textbook nba strategy i guess you would call it if somebody drives baseline on the strong side weak side you have to fill that corner you have to uh good good spin out good spin out here we get a, a face cut to get to the post up he gets it here he doesn't put the ball on the floor yet and he uses his head and his shoulders to make him think that he's going inside to get that inside leverage not a defender wants to cut off that inside spin out and then he just reverses it this is a, this is a smart play he gets to his spot he uses his head and his shoulders to fake outside or fake inside and he just spins out outside post up again you can't really you got to understand who you're playing i don't know if this is in their scouting report or not but if you get a post up on Jokic, you can see he's shading him to the out. He, he's forcing him outside. He's taking away that inside every time that he gets a post up down here. The defender's playing three fourths over here just to, you know, shade away this, this side right here. He's trying to force him to the baseline. But no, no, Jokic, Jokic is, is, is nifty and, and, and nimble on the baseline. He, he's comfortable going baseline side, baseline drive. And he's also seven foot tall with amazing reach. So you're going to have to do a little more to keep him away from the basket. I think he should just play him straight up and force him out of the paint instead of in a direction. No, you just put that shoulder in him and try to keep him out of the paint as much as possible. Because if you're giving him a direction, there's nothing you can really do. Down here, look, just getting it off the rebound. Saw this coming the whole time. He gets a mismatch down here. He wants the ball on his post up but he doesn't want to get caught for that three seconds. So he gets out of there. The defender stays to help out on his turnaround jumper, which just opens up that, that offensive rebound spot. And the ball goes up. Look at Jokic. Ball goes up. He's moving him out of there. This is what I love. Big men, pay attention. That's how you get easy, easy points. Easy points. Ball goes up. Get his ass out of there. You got to be the first one to it. Look at that. Easy two points. face up same thing easy shot face up look at the ball jab baby jab and then shot over the top easy shots like this that as a big man the defenders are probably going to back up and allow you to shoot anyway because they don't want you to you know use your size against them so they'll probably give you that shot eight times out of ten here we get a beautiful face cut we get a mismatch here Porzingis is coming over late he knows he knows that they want to switch this back because if he keeps walking him down here to the paint that's a mismatch so they want to switch this really quick but instead Jokic is just smart as hell and he just he slips it anyway and he gives him a brilliant pass leads him to the paint point guards make sure when you're making entry passes on cuts like this you're leading them to the to the paint you don't want to throw that ball to where they are you want to throw that ball to where they should be Okay, leads him to the paint, and now he can just put that ball away from Porzingis for an easy layup. I love those jerseys. Fire. High screen. Good play. Good play. A few things I love about this play. Screen here. He opens up. Look how he reads it. If he rolls, he's clogging the paint. He can roll, but that just allows Porzingis to drop back onto him and for, uh, Luka to slide over and get help defense. So instead of rolling, he kind of fades it, kind of pops it. Right here to the, the open space. He fades out to the open space to where he... The, the most space from this possible uh, roll, I guess you could say. Fades it out. Now he's got an open jumper. Show the ball on the pump fake. Porzingis falls forward, flies out of his socks. And then he just goes right around him for a nice feathery floater. Playing smart. Jokic is the best big man in the league, skill set wise. He's also probably the smartest. All right, Kareem. Once again, 
you can see Yoke, uh Porzingis. Now he's playing them more straight up, kind of. He doesn't want to give them too much inside. He doesn't want to give them too much outside. He's kind of forcing them out of the paint. It just so happens Porzingis is about the size of my pinky finger. You know, he's thin as hell. So he uses his size. Look, oh, look at this. Look at, look at that shoulder dip. Boom, right into him. Hook shot. What can he really do about that shot? He can't block it, and he knows where he's going with it. There's nothing you can really do about that. Seven-footer on seven-footer. And look at you can even see Porzingis with a, a bit of a smile after he hits that shot. Like, there's nothing you can really do about it. Oh, now we get this Luka action. Timeout. I knew that was going to happen. That was a mismatch when I saw it. Luka's like six foot nine, 190 pounds. I'm exaggerating, of course, guys. Don't kill me in the comments. But we get this mismatch here. Luka's playing him straight up. He's playing him straight up. But here... This is where he fucked up. He gets knocked off his 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 he gets knocked off balance right here. Look at how he, the angle that his back takes. Why is he taking that? He's like folding inside like this. And Jokic just spins out baseline. Like I said in the Anthony Davis breakdown, if you can get your elbow on this guy's shoulder right here, they're beat. Is nothing they could do. No way that they can recover. If you could get your elbow on their shoulder, on their back, that's a clear, clear layup. Look at how much that throws him out of the picture. Take that elbow, get him out of there. Good dunk, good finish, good spin. So let's look at this shot chart over here, guys. Nothing too telling. Um, the mo the thing that pops out to me is these three, uh, these four three pointers that he missed. Probably shouldn't have shot him anyway, but in a flow of a game, you're gonna take what the defense gives you. But when he's being aggressive, we get a lot of a lot of uh, field goals right down here at the basket. About 20 or so of his shots came right down here at the basket. And big man, it's the NBA. We're not settling. There's a reason he's the reigning MVP. You know what I mean? He's not settling. He's a smart player, and he uses his size to his advantage. And he gets close to the rim and makes plays. So if it's one thing you guys take away from this. Get down here and make a play, man. The easiest place to score is at the rim, at the basket. Get down here, make a play. If you if you ain't got it, kick it out for a teammate. It'll come back to you. Get it off the rebound. Make something happen. Can't negate the fact that when you run the floor, you do get rewarded and good things happen for you in the form of easy transition layups, offensive rebounds and putbacks, and uh, screen transition drag screen opportunities. So for, for my big men out there, Really, really take heed, really take notes, and add some of this stuff to your game. The pick and slip, uh, the pick and pop, the pick and fade, offensive rebound, boxing out. You know, we got to become better big men, better players. That's what the channel's here for. Daily breakdowns. Join us tomorrow to see who we're doing. Like the video, subscribe, comment, let me know who you want to see me do. And in the meantime, we out.